I am interested in uh, the history of our planet when it comes to little organisms, microorganisms, and how they have shaped our planet. And we know that they've been around on Earth for a very long time, but what about other planets? My name is Jennifer Eigenbrod, and I'm at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. I'm working on an instrument called SAM, and it's going to go to Mars, and we're going to use it to look at organic molecules in rocks. And I think it's a, it's a fantastic instrument, but there's lots of different ways that you can do these types of analyses. And I came up with an alternative way, and uh, I got some funding from Goddard to uh, explore this idea, and the experiments were working. They, they showed us that, yeah, you know, this, this alternative technique might actually help us get more organic information out of rocks on another planet. And that's all great, and I was thinking, okay, this is something that we can put into the next Mars mission uh, proposal that we put together. And uh, lo and behold, the mission that I'm working on right now got delayed two years, and there was this opportunity to include this experiment that I came up with on the mission. And uh, so it didn't take any hardware changes, and uh, we worked out some details, and. Now I have my own experiment going to Mars. But the, the biggest influence on my life probably was my father. And uh, he was an electrical engineer, and I don't know too much about him. He passed away when I was 11. But uh, there's two things that I remember about him. And one was he worked on some electrical connections that were used in the space shuttle. So I always thought that was kind of cool. But uh, there's this comment that always floats around in the back of my head that has really stuck with me, and that is uh, that someday I'm going to have a job, and I'm going to be spending a lot of my life doing it. So it better be something worth doing, something I enjoy. I am a risk taker. Um, this has manifested itself in a lot of adventure sports that I do, such as rock climbing, mountain biking. I like the whitewater kayak. Uh, but I take risks in my career too, and I never would have gotten to where I am today here at NASA if I wasn't willing to take those risks and manage them along the way. And knowledge uh, and experience help you manage those risks. I, I don't think that women take to risks as, as often as men do, and there might be something to that. Maybe it's a maternal instinct that we have. Uh, to kind of be more protective and whatnot, but you know, you get some fantastic experiences out of taking risks. It's fun, and then there's adventure, and uh, there are barriers in career, hurdles that you have to jump through um, as a person, but then some things happen that are imposed on you. For instance, uh, it, it took me a long time to recognize that in the 11 jobs that I have had, nine of them I have been exposed to sexual harassment or discrimination <laughs> and uh, I, I don't think that I was aware of it at the time for most of those cases and that's really a critical part in getting through it is to recognizing that it is happening that it is wrong and then just saying no you won't put up with it and uh, you know since I've been at NASA actually before NASA I haven't come across it and I think part of it is that once you get rolling in your career and you're really um, dedicated to what you're doing and people see the value that they have, those people stop looking at what you look like, you know, what your gender is and they start paying attention to what you do and that's what really counts.